name is Gary McGewey, high school practice leader for The Leader in Me. We're extremely excited to be launching our very first teen leadership series entitled Quarantine. Today's episode, Balancing Priorities. Team, take it away. Hey guys, today we'll be talking about balancing priorities. Uh, kind of, I just want to get y'all's opinion. What do you guys think a, a priority is and how would you guys define it? Um, for me, a priority is like what's like what's important to you and what's like necessary in life. So like for me, what's necessary is school and it's also important to me like to get my education. And then also what's important to me is sports and my friends and family. So like if I have all those, all my ducks in a row like that, then I'll be more sane. Yeah, I, I love I love what you just said, Hannah. I've never thought about that before, but like what's what's important and then what's necessary. Like those are what really a priority is. Like it's it falls into one of those two categories because if it's not one of those two things, then it might still be a priority to you, but it's definitely not one of the bigger ones. And I think it's hard a lot of times, especially as teenagers, to balance all the different priorities and responsibilities we have. But if you can kind of, you know, like rank them in order of importance and like you just get that idea about what really a priority is to you, what's important, what's necessary. I really don't have anything else to say about that. I think Hannah really summed it up right there pretty well at the very beginning. But um, yeah, the priorities are, are things that are extremely important to you and that um, you have a responsibility to do. Yeah, for sure. And when I think about a priority, I always think of now, like you guys were saying, what's important and necessary, but I also think like what's the hardest thing and what's the longest thing that it's going to take me to do. So I like to tackle that first and then everything else will fall in line. So how do you got, what helps you guys like balance your priorities and how, how do you guys um, help list them off? Like what's important to you? Well, like in a day to day type of thing, like my priorities to get done with in the day, let's say like, for example, today is to reorganize my bathroom. So I'll put that on a planner and I'll put what else I'm going to get done and just make sure that I check it off. But I guess generally like for life right now, I guess long, more long term, um, I line up the many goals to get to that one big goal or priority. Do you see what I'm saying? I actually have my planner with me. <laughs> so um, like at the beginning of the month, I plan out like what I do. <laughs> and then um, I'll have like my, that have the, like what I have but here's a great example so like I'll, I have like my days planned out but I do all that on Sunday and then if I like because I play sports and my coach usually like surprises us with practices so then they'll give us like the practice times and I'll write in my planner that day and then I'll just at night I'll just go over like what I have to do for the next day yeah for for anybody watching this definitely take Hannah and Nala's advice and get a planner because I don't use a planner like that. And it definitely makes things difficult, more difficult in terms of like balancing my priorities and keeping all of my ducks in a row. Um, and just like, especially like I'm someone who has always had a problem with stretching myself too thin. Um, a lot of times, like I say yes to opportunities and although that's a good thing in some instances, because I rarely say no, a lot of times I take on like too much responsibility. And so that's something that I have to work on and improve on myself. But because of that, I've, I've learned how to balance more things and how to manage my time more effectively through that challenge. And definitely like getting your priorities straight is something that's extremely, extremely beneficial to that. And I think a way you can do that is remembering what you value the most. So for you, whatever sport you play in your team is what you value the most. And maybe that's one of the biggest priorities in your life. And that's what you're going to commit more time to. But for someone else, if your priority is like, obviously for everybody, school should be a major priority and you should commit a lot of time to your education. And then there's just so many different things or your family, your friends, church, whatever it may be. You just have to know what you value. And then that's how you can kind of divvy out how much time you're going to commit to each thing. Definitely. I, like Braden's was saying, that's definitely an area, a room for improvement for me. Like sometimes I'll just go through a week and I'll just stuck everything in my brain. Like I have a mental uh, you know, that I need to work on is uh, actually planning it and knowing what I need to do day by day. So um, is there any more advice you would have for teenagers to help balance their priorities and uh, help with time management? 
Well, I know we all just like talked about planners, but I but I do want to stress that because you can put anything in there. Like I put doctor's appointments in there and like you won't forget because you have your planner on you and you just, um, or maybe like, I like to do countdown to my planner too. So right now, um, normally whenever there's not, it's not COVID, I'll do a countdown to where like my fall break vacation and then I'll do a countdown to my birthday because they're the same month. But right now it's just like my birthday countdown. And so I just put anything in here. It makes me look forward to certain things, but also not forget others. You know what I mean? So I guess the countdown is my reward as long as I keep using my planner, I'll see the countdown to put what I have to do and everything, so. Another thing I do is, I'm a movie says, but I also have a huge calendar. <laughs> so I'm a very forgetful person, so I do that. And then, um, I do that, and then I also, uh, I also remind myself of my phone. <laughs> and then I have my friends remind me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I forget a lot of things, so yeah. Yeah, I think, I think all of that was really good advice. I also, I said I don't use a planner. I do have this big calendar thing right here, like on my wall, if you can see it in that area on the wall. And so I use that um, pretty every month for like major events that are happening in my life. Um, something Mr. McGewey has told us before is the main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing. I think I said that correctly. And so, and so if you can kind of just like, I know that sounds simple in some as, in some aspects, but really, that sums up how you like manage your priorities you know you put what's for what's most important first and i don't know if any of you have ever seen this video but this guy is basically like filling a jar and there's like bigger rocks and then they're like smaller rocks and there's like sand and at some point there might be like water in it i can't tell you exactly who did that but i know like the only way you could fill up the whole jar with everything is when he put the bigger rocks in first because and so that's a really good metaphor for your priorities too. We did that in school, in elementary school, we did that. It just taught us to put, like, you know, the seven habits, to put first things first, you know what I mean? That's what, that's the, the, the I guess, example they used for us, was the rocks and the sand. And I would say one last piece of advice, don't use your mom as your planner because she will not be able to help you plan for forever. I, I do that, it's a bad habit, and it's gonna hurt me when I go off to college because that's what I do and it's gonna hurt me. So don't do that. Don't use your mom as your planner first. She won't be able to plan your stuff forever. Now with that, um, can Mr. McGee, can you help uh, summarize what we just talked about? Yeah, I'm just uh, uh, processing your last comment there, Dylan. That, that's, that's very profound, I love it. So uh, great conversation as always. A um, couple things we heard that this filter for establishing priorities uh, but is it important, is it necessary, is a good filter for us. Also, maybe do the hardest things, the most challenging things, get those things out of the way first thing, and the day will go a lot smoother. Um, the importance of a planning system, the importance of, of utilizing a planning tool. You know, I always say before the day begins, it should be finished. Before the week begins, it should be finished. How about this one? Before the month begins, it should be finished. The ultimate one before the year begins, it should be finished. Just to start thinking more visually. Um, and then the last uh, comment here, Braden talked about, uh, you know, Dr. Covey's uh, phrase that the main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing. And truly what, what, he, what he was saying there is we need to make sure we connect to our mission. And that's really helps us choose. We've heard the term moral compass. This becomes a decision-making tool for us to decide what's important and what's maybe not as important. So huge topic, huge discussion, very valuable uh, uh, wisdom you shared today, team. Thank you so much. Have a great week. I know some of you are starting school next week. Good luck. And uh, maybe next week when we talk about how school felt. Have a great week. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>